This is our uh, latest uh, impulse winding tester. This is specially used for uh, any of the coils, transformers, motor windings, solenoid coils, automobile ignition coils. For finding inter turn or inter layer shot of the winding, mainly um, it is not only used for uh, finding uh, layer shots but also it gives a comparison of the health of the coil maybe change in winding number of turns or a change in core that can be identified through the waveforms difference in the waveforms well uh, this is the front panel where you can give in your uh, settings uh, this is a rotary knob for uh, increasing or decreasing the values well this is the USB flash drive for uh, storing the waveforms in a uh, image format for your future references and uh, this is a color display where you can have a clear picture about the waveforms well uh, these are the accessories that are used for testing this is a HV Pro that gets into this position and this is a ground cable that gets into the ground connector well this is connected to the start and end of the winding yeah well this is the rate panel of the equipment this is the power supply along with the fuse slot in case if you have any problem with the fuse you can just replace it the power supply will be uh, in a range of 198 volts to 242 volts AC and frequency can go from 47.5 Hertz to 63 Hertz and this is the foot switch connector where you can use the foot switch for external triggers for uh, te at, uh, while testing for the faster testing and this is our future uh, communication port that we are presently developing to link it to the LAN this is the R32 port and uh, this is a USB slot these are all optional slots that will be given uh, as and how required by the customer and this is the handler interface suppose if you want to hook this equipment to a mechanical uh, pick and drop machines you can use this port with uh, TTL outputs for uh, triggering external triggers giving a pass and fail uh, digital outputs this is slot is mainly used for that application and this is IEEE 488 for hooking with different equipments parallelly well uh, this is the how it looks this is a main screen after switching on the equipment these are the setting buttons mainly when you press this this is a measurement display the main screen then you have a setup screen for giving the values what all the at what voltage you want to test and what are the parameters you want and limits and percentage limit most of this uh, all the the uh, parameters and what all you see in the screen are properly described in the user manual you can have a best use out of it then you can go to a system setting system setting is mainly highlights about the basic fundamental uh, settings of the equipment like brightness of the LCD then beep beep sounds for pass and fail then you have key uh, key sound then you have language then you have uh, date and time settings this uh, this is uh, the basic fundamental setting for the equipment for standard uh, applications then you have file management screen in file management screen you will have a list of programs suppose if you have saved it before this you are, in this place you can store all your settings in a particular file giving with a file name for an example I created one that is ABC and it will give you uh, what the what you have set at what voltage you have set but just uh, indication anytime you can load or save in this settings now I'll show you how to create a standard waveform so that you can know how to use the equipment in real time. 
I take a standard coil. This is nothing but an ignition coil of a two wheeler. I connect it. Then I go to uh, standard sampling, standard sample. I go to auto. Then I go start. It starts testing at 500 volts. I get a waveform. I can zoom in with sampling ratio. Then I, I select it. Before it, I have to give a limit of the area. I mean, I need to frame out the area of the waveform so that only that part will be com compared with the test uh, tester sample. So you have an area, area difference. Area difference is one of the parameter which compares the difference of area in the waveforms mainly this will highlight about inter turn or inter layer shot in case if you see the uh, change in the waveform that means that there is a inter turn or inter layer shot for an example i have taken this band of the waveform this is the start and this is the end i can give the selections by clicking on start over here when i press this this button highlights by moving this rotary tab I can move the start of the waveform and when I unhighlight and I have end I give a select the waveform I can also punch in the keys then you have differential area differential area is mainly uh, you can identify in case the number of turns are more or less the standard press this differential area i've selected the start and end of the waveform i also have to give the limit tolerance limit the tolerance limit is we press on one as five percent I go to the main screen now when I want to test I simply test this so the yellow line what you see is the measured waveform uh, since it is the same coil I've tested it is overwriting on the standard waveform now what I do is I'll give the other sample which has a short This clearly indicates that there is a shot and you can also see the no-go and area and differential area. Now I will show you how to save a standard file into a database, test database. What I would go is first I will do the same thing what I have done previously that take a standard waveform. Press this now a standard waveform will be created then I select it I go for a comparison I give the specification start and end limit I'll feed it then go for differential area I'll also give the waveform limit then I go back then at this condition what I can do is I can go to the file management punch in the file input file number file number is nothing but the first column what you see I give us two and at this point I give you what will be the file name I'll take it as DF DEF that's the same file name will be D E F. I press enter. It is saved. Save. Now, whenever I want, I'm testing this particular sample. I simply need to go to the file management. Go to the second file, relevant file. Then press load. Yes. Now this waveform. I'm gonna simply load it and start testing it. 